Hi, my name is Richard Evans. I'm with Caliber Yacht Sales, and it's my privilege to introduce you to Crystal Springs. Crystal Springs is a 1990 Venturi 53 that was built by CTF Marine, same people who built the Fevers. Model year is 1990, but not really launched until 1992. Now this vessel is in really good condition, so come on aboard, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So notice the uh, swim grid, a good wide swim grid makes it easy access to the transom door. And notice that the transom opening is, uh, it's substantial. It's gonna be very easy to get in and out of your cockpit when you're receiving guests. And before we go inside, I wanna show you this uh, full enclosure. It's really good condition. This was uh, added in uh, 2010. And it's not Lexan, but uh, actual uh, is in glass and canvas. Uh, very, very good quality and uh, yeah, makes a nice accent for the boat. So come on inside. So this is, uh, this is the uh, cockpit, a great space for sitting outside and just enjoying. And while we're here, I just want to point out a few things. Look at uh, how heavy and sturdy this, this transom door is. And again, as we pointed out earlier, this nice clear is in glass enclosure. Notice here also, we've got a ladder that goes up to the bridge deck. And <laughs> you're gonna be excited when you see the bridge deck. Uh, and of course, on both sides of the boat, we've got access to the side deck with a nice three-step ascension. It's a good boat. But what I really like about this design is this feature here. Double sliding glass doors, easy to close, easy to open. And when they're open, You've got this beautiful salon that becomes an integral part of the outdoors and the outdoors with the indoors. Isn't that nice? Come on inside, I'm gonna show you the salon. So here we are in the salon. What a beautiful space, eh? Isn't this gorgeous? Look at this teak. Man, you just don't get teak like that anymore. It's, uh, and I believe it's solid. Solid teak balances, these big beautiful windows with these teak trims. The craftsmanship is really, really good. Um, looks like the windows are smoked too, so you get some privacy, don't get too much sun. And of course, behind the balances here, you've got uh, these uh, Venetian blinds. Entertainment system below, and on each side of that, you've got these leather tub chairs that pivot like so. Isn't that nice? And this rug, oh my goodness, I feel like I'm standing on a cloud. And so here we have this beautiful smoked glass and teak table. It's a uh, high and low adjustment. Low for cocktails, high for dining table, and imagine just pulling these two tub chairs right up here, and you've got a combination for uh, five easily, and then bring up the bar stools, you've got two more for seven. And in behind these valances are mood lights, not only there, but also underneath the counters, which uh, gives it a real nice, comfortable feeling at night when you're sitting and having a cocktail and just relaxing, watching TV. Nice bar stools sitting up here at the bar, and this makes for a beautiful transition into this galley up, galley up next to the salon, so the person in the galley can feel comfortable and mingling with their guests and feels like they're part of what's going on here. The first thing you're going to notice here is all of the storage space that we have and this big working counter and notice that the counter overhangs so that when you're sitting up to the uh, bar or sitting up to the kitchen you actually can uh, slip your legs underneath now just look at the counter space that you've got here isn't this massive i mean you could uh, feel very comfortable preparing just about any kind of a meal here i love this space this is a great space i mean the first thing that you notice of course is this uh, big beautiful over head storage area and look at the complex curves here look at this look at the finishing detail of this teak look at the curves that you see here man you just you just don't get this kind of quality anymore in a boat unless you're going to spend over a million dollars um, the other thing I want to point out here is we've got a counter uh, a cupboard space over here and you wouldn't even think that this was a bank of drawers look at that Look at this complex curve that you have around in the finishing here with a bank of four drawers. And to the right of that, you've got this nice big cupboard, uh, almost pantry size. And just to the left of that, we've got this dishwasher. Over here, we've got a deep stainless steel sink, uh, double sink. And uh, to the left of that, 
we have a four burner Wedgwood propane stove. Below that, you've got a huge microwave oven, microwave convection oven, big enough to cook a turkey in, just in case you want to spend some time out there at Christmas. Now look at this. So below, we have this massive freezer, which is plenty big enough for an extended cruise. And above, side-by-side -side doors with a very, very large fridge. Another thing I really like about this uh, galley is Look how bright it is. It's so beautiful. All the light that you could possibly want just uh, flooding in on you. But the thing that's really important here is the person who's in the galley can now mingle with their guests in the salon. So this is one of the nice layouts of this boat that I really, really appreciate. But there's something else here that I really like about this too. This is a three cabin boat. Um, the guest cabins are forward. And the master cabin is right here, right off the salon, with its own entrance. Now you'll see when we get down there that it's a queen walk-around bed. Uh, there's lots of other features we're going to talk about when we get down there. But the entrance for your guests in the VIP cabin and in the third cabin are forward off the pilot house. Brilliant design. Really, really effective. It's the kind of boat layout that I think that I would like if I was going cruising with a number of guests. Come along, I'll show you what I mean. So moving into the master cabin here, uh, we've just walked past the uh, S-Bar cabin heat. This is a uh, four zone diesel heat. And of course the, uh, the pantry that takes up the entire space underneath the stairs here. So you can put all of uh, more case goods and that sort of thing in there. Over here, this is, a, this is such a large master cabin look at this we've got the sink right here mirrors all around we've uh, just walked right past the head the head is right in here with a separate shower a big queen walk around bed vanity with a bank of six drawers there hang up lockers full hang up locker and a half hang up hang up locker access to the engine space here and bedside tables here with reading lights beautiful space Here we are in the pilot house, big, bright, beautiful space. We've got a settee right here for three, and the helmsman makes four. Got a satellite telephone, both uh, handheld and remote. And over here, we've got ZF controls. Now this was uh, an upgrade. This is a $15,000 upgrade, taking it from uh, the standard controls that the boat came with uh, to modern electronic controls. Very nice feature. We got uh, autopilot with remote, uh, VHF, VHF, of course your compass is in the center. Uh, you've got uh, color depth sounder and radar. 24 volt Westmar bow thruster and a teak wheel. And over here we have a multifunction Xantrex battery monitor. And over here we've got our tank tender. Now, let's go down below. This is where the other two cabins are, so follow me. So here we are in the VIP cabin. Again, a wonderful, luxurious space. We've got this uh, beautiful, rounded, uh, complex curves in the, uh, in the bulkheads. Just, I love this feel. Over here, we've got uh, a bank of four drawers. And uh, again, all finished in teak with that beautiful, rounded uh, teak finishing. Uh, mirrors up, uh, up forward. Uh, we've got a Pullman berth, queen-size Pullman berth, uh, right here in another bank of four drawers here. That's eight drawers in this, uh, in this boat. It's just loaded with storage. Right here, we've got this uh, cedar-lined hang-up locker. And notice um, how bright it is in here. We've got uh, port lights on both sides, and we've got uh, an opening hatch for ventilation. Um, and uh, it also lets in all of that natural light. Pretty nice, eh? Over here, uh, in the, uh, off the same hallway, and remember what I said, that this is a completely separate hallway from the master cabin. It's a, it's a nice separation from, from the uh, three cabins. We have an over-under bunk, uh, plenty of space. We've got an end table right here, storage in behind the door, and a hang-up locker right here. 
And for people in this part of the boat, this is the head with a sink and toilet and a mirror. No shower in this space here, but we do have a washer and dryer in behind. A lot of space, eh? For a 53-foot boat, three cabins, a beautiful pilot house, a great salon, galley up in the uh, just forward of the salon. This is an amazing boat. Come on up to the bridge. You're going to see uh, the final step of this tour, and it's a uh, it's you're going to love it. Come on along. So here we are on the uh, bridge deck, and this is uh, this is a beautiful spot here. Notice how this closes down and gives you lots of room for your charts. Um, here we've got those ZF controls again, engine gauges, 24 volt bow thruster, uh, engine gauges, and uh, Lorancy multifunction GPS chart plotter. I wanted to also point out that uh, we have this beautiful canvas, uh, remember installed in 2010, uh, in incredibly good condition, covering this whole space. Not only the helmsman, but uh, the settee as well. Got your helm chair here, seating for six comfortably. And again, plenty of seating for lots of people. And out here, we've got this big bridge deck here. Put a couple of lounge chairs here, some teak tables, or put a whole bunch of smaller chairs around. You've got room out here for six people, very comfortably. And look at this, eh? What a beautiful center console thingy that gets you around just to play with and have fun, gets you to the beach get you to the dock, uh, do a beer run, whatever. Uh, lots of space, room for four people in there, and it uh, comes complete with a 24-volt davit system to easily get it in and out of the water. So there you have it. So remember I mentioned to you earlier that this boat has been boathouse kept, and that's the boathouse right there. When this boat sells, that boathouse will be available to be sold as well. Uh, however, if you're willing to buy the boat and the boathouse together uh, to protect your asset, I'm sure the vendor will be very happy about making you a special deal. So give us a call. We can talk about that. <laughs>